Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh, and today we're going to have a look at animation options in PowerPoint. This is a slide I've created, and on it I have a smart art diagram. To animate that, I select the smart art, and then I'm going to go to the animation tab. When I click on the animation tab, I have a number of animations that I can add to any object. What you'll notice here in the far right hand corner is a more button. When I click on that, it's going to give me more options for animations. The animations are color coded. The green ones are entrance effects. The orange ones are emphasis. The red are exit. And we have another series at the bottom, which are motion paths. What you'll also notice a little bit further down is more entrance effects, more emphasis effects, more exit and more motion paths. So this, these options here aren't all of the options. If I click on more entrance effects here, I have a window open up and that window has a summary of all of the different entrance effects that I can add to this smart art graphic. You'll also see here we have a little preview effect tick box, and that allows us to see a preview when we select one. So I can see what that's going to look like now. Let's try another one there. Pinwheel there, a little bit, uh, a bit fancy. And I am going to go for uh, wipe here and click OK. So now you'll notice next to the animation overview there, there is a little button called effect options and that has a little drop down menu. When I click on that, I can see that when this wipe animation comes in, I can choose whether it comes from the bottom, whether it comes from the left, whether it comes from the right, or whether it comes from the top. So at the moment it's from the bottom, but I can choose to have that from the right or top, left, whichever. Now these effect options will be different for each type of animation, okay? And some for some animations, for example, the appear, there are no options because it just appears on the screen. There's, there's no options to change there. But they're gonna be different depending on the actual animation, okay? What you'll also notice here, because I'm animating a smart art, that I have some different options here for the smart art. So I can animate it as one object, which is highlighted, so that's what I have now. I can also do all at once, or I can do one by one. This one I'm gonna click on one by one, which means that the animation is going to run one by one as I click on it. Let's play that slide now, and I can show you what that's going to look like. Swap that around. Okay, so my first click, I have my first box, and then I can control when those boxes are going to come up, depending on when I click with my mouse. So that's a brief overview of animation. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, please do connect with me to see more videos. And if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.